I prophesy over your life that God, your God, he is going to remember you. I said your God is remembering you. I prophesy that your God, he is remembering you. It's the year of divine remembrance. May God remember you. I decree 2023. Even when it looked like God had forgotten you, your God must and will remember you. I said he will remember you. I prophesy he will remember you. This year will not end without you being established. I prophesy this year you will be lifted and established. Lifted and established. Lifted and established. For upon prayer shift, upon KPM, there shall be deliverance. I prophesy permanent deliverance for you. I say permanent deliverance for you. It must happen for you. You shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. You shall walk holy and you shall possess your possessions. Deliverance. Holiness. Possessing your possessions. What you are supposed to possess. I decree you will possess it. I said I decree you shall possess it. It's the year of possessing all of your possessions. The things that have been delayed before. I decree there shall be no more delays. I said there shall be no more delays. Why? It's your time to possess. As you come for deliverance. As you come for prayer sessions. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree while you are yet praying in here they are looking for you out there this year there will be quick results hallelujah why 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 there shall be deliverance unto results I prophesy now prosperity now prosperity agent breakthroughs in 2023 I said agent breakthroughs in 2023 I prophesy it hallelujah God will send agent breakthroughs this 2023 Wealth and riches shall be in your house. I prophesy this year you will see wealth, you will see riches. You will see wealth, you will see riches. You will see wealth, you will see riches. Uchabata Mariwe, I'm talking to you this year. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Proverbs 10 verse 22. A blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. I speak that blessing over your life. I speak that blessing over your life. I speak that blessing over your life. And that blessing will make you rich. Hallelujah. I said you shall become rich. I'm talking to somebody. Receive this word. That blessing must make you rich. Must make you rich. Must make you rich. Must make you rich. Whether you're from Africa or from Europe, I prophesy a blessing must make you rich and add no sorrow, add no witchcraft, add no wizardry. I said the blessing will make you rich. I declare and I decree a commanded blessing, a commanded blessing. I prophesy a commanded blessing. I decree the market is commanded to bless you. The Lord told me this year many many people will build not only will we start building the church but you will also start building your dream house the Lord is giving you land this year he's giving you land this year he's giving you land this year the Lord is giving you land I command the opening up of good treasure listen there's good treasure kune meter kune meter Ah, somebody you are receiving this for yourself I said the good treasure the real money the real deals God is opening them hallelujah I command those resources to open in the name of Jesus may you partake of abundance may you partake of abundance I decree over your life you will not fumble the bag hallelujah you will not fumble somebody needs to receive that you will not fumble because this year this last year you fumbled many things but this year you will not fumble the bag hallelujah you will be a partaker you will be a partaker I prophesy under this anointing you will be a partaker 
whatever gives you money you will not fumble hidden riches treasures of darkness things that have been hidden from you you will receive them i'm talking about you you will receive them things that were, were, were hidden away from you things that were private deals private contracts you will get access to things that are hidden classified projects i hear the lord say classified projects may you be a partaker they will ask how did you know about this hallelujah and you say a crazy man of god prophesied isaiah 45 verse 2 and 3 hidden riches treasures of darkness I prophesy exceeding prosperity. I said exceeding prosperity. Uh, your family had become jealous over the holiday because of the ramshackle you are driving. But what they did not know is the Range Rover is being arranged in the name of Jesus. Rose Royce, because you are royalty, goodness and Mercedes Benz shall follow you. I decree exceedingly prosperous you buy land you build commercial buildings i said marine empuri exceeding prosperity i prophesy in 2023 the lord will increase your greatness he will increase your greatness he will increase your greatness your greatness is increasing i said your greatness is increasing yes you have been great until now but your god is increasing your greatness i prophesy your greatness is increasing you'll be financially great i speak it over your life you'll be spiritually great god is upgrading you wherever you are i prophesy 2023 I prophesy, God is lifting you. God, the lifter of men, is lifting you. Even if you are high, he can take you higher. He can take you higher. I said he can take you higher. Your God is taking you higher. Oh, Lord God, in 2023, that you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. I prophesy your God is enlarging your territory. I said your territory, uh, that territory you own will be enlarged. Second uh, Chronicles 26, uh, verse number 1 to 5. Uh, there was a young man called Uzziah. I need to paraphrase this one. Uh, a young man called Uzziah, 16 years old. Uh, in other words, they are teenage millionaires. Uh, I said they are 20-year-old millionaires. Uh, I said they are 30-year-old millionaires. Uh, they are young millionaires. 40-year-old uh, millionaires. Uh, to rise up out of this place. Uh, I prophesy, I prophesy. Uh, you will prosper at a young age. You will prosper at a young age. You will prosper at a young age. Age is not a barrier when it comes to kingdom prosperity. You will prosper at a young age. He reigned for 52 years. You will reign for a long time. I said you will reign for a long time. You will be in charge for a long time. You will reign for a long time. It will start this year, but you will reign for a long time. 52 years, they beg you. 52 years without fumbling the bag i will reign for a long time i will reign for a long time i'll be in charge financially i'll be in charge spiritually for a long time may it never be said of you that you used to have money i said may it never be said of you that you used to have money never May it never be said of you that you used to be anointed. May it never be said of you that you are a former champion. You will rule and you will reign for a long time in the name of Jesus. Your business will not shut down. <laughs> May it never be said when you were married. May it never be said when you are successful. For the path of the just shines more and more. I speak that over your life. As long as you come to prayer shift, as long as you do midnight prayer, as long as you follow the prophetic instructions, your God will cause you to prosper. They will say of you in 2023, how did you make it? And you will tell them, Second Chronicles 26 verse number 5, God made 
helped me to prosper. Hashtag prospered by God. Hashtag defended by God. I don't know who's going to receive this word. I don't know who will receive it. But every day this year, you must have a tangible testimony. Including today. There is no day that will pass without you testifying. For it came to pass in 2023 that day by day, someone came to help. Someone helps with the transaction. Someone helps with an order. Someone helps with just about ten dollars. So <laughs> I said every day. Uh, today is the first day. So I prophesy into 2023. This is what you came for. I said I prophesy day by day. Somebody will help you. Whatever harvest you did not receive last year or the year before, <laughs> you will receive this year. I bunch up all your harvests into, and I compress it into 2023. There are things I'll say in passing that will change your life. I said every seed you have sowed, whether it was in this ministry or another ministry, as long as it was the work of God, I declare and I decree, I bunch up all your harvest into the same year, not double, 100 fold may you enter 100 fold 2023 you are entering a hundred fold a hundred fold is ten thousand percent don't make me explain trust me it's ten thousand percent there is no other investment on the market that offers such returns like kingdom investment i said ten thousand percent I said 10,000 percent. I speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus, you are beginning, you are beginning to prosper. And that blessed when I say it, you continue. I said you continue. I said you continue. I said you continue. You will continue to you 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 will continue. You will continue to prosper. You will continue to prosper. And the king called for Joseph. And the king sent for Joseph. And the king sent for you. And the king, Genesis 41 verse 14. A king sent for you. A king, I hear the king. I hear the king. I hear the king calling. And the king will send for you. He will send for you. When the king calls for you, Hama, he will solve your problem problems quickly. I said your problems in 2023 will be solved quickly. A king will call for you and you'll solve your problems. Chop, chop. The king will send for you and you'll be brought out quickly. <laughs> There's a phone call you've been waiting for. There's a phone call you've been waiting for. There's a transaction you've been waiting for. It's coming quickly. It's kumbo no no ka. It will come quick, 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 quick. The king will call for you, and you will be called quickly. I hear the Lord saying, "Your blessing will come with agency, because we are behind." Kune marida no no ka. Zakuchuya chop chop. By the end of January, your financial status would have changed. I need you to believe it. I need you to believe it because it's, it's supernatural lifting. Joseph was lifted supernaturally. The grace to continue to prosper throughout the whole year. Receive that grace. I prophesy you will become very prosperous. God will make your name great. God! You rise because of the name that you carry. So if people have messed up your name, help him. God! Can make your name great. Your name, your reputation, 
how people look at you, how they perceive you, how they think of you. Don't try and convince them. Just get God to make your name. If somebody you are receiving, you are receiving the helper. Help her, help her, help her. God will make your name great. You don't have a name in your industry, but God. The names are all written. But God can take your name. I hope you don't switch off. I hope I'm not preaching into the camera. God can take your name and make your name great. Some of you, your online presence, your online presence, people will just, they just start to look for you. There's a man who died, I think, 48 hours ago or so, within three days ago. His name is Pele. What is Pele's real name? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows his real name. I, 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 I mean, I was watching the documentary yesterday. They said it maybe 20 times, but I don't even remember it. All I remember is Pele. Listen, is Pele the what? The great. Can we agree on that? So you can turn your name from Kuda to great. You will make your name great. That is your new name. When he makes your name great, oh, I wish I could preach this. When he makes your name great, it means he will remove any bad reputation and put great. Where is the name in the minds of people? So God can make people forget the mistake. <laughs> so God will make people forget all the nonsense you did and your name. Release the name great over your life. Your bosses will see you as great. And they'll say, what are you doing on this low level? Your customers will see you as great. Abraham, I will make your name. And because your name is great, you are going to be a blessing. In other words, capacity to be a blessing. I'm speaking into 2023. God will make your name great. In other words, your name will be synonymous with greatness. When they hear Pele, they know it's soccer. When they hear Tenduka, they know it's cricket. When they know it's Brian Lara, they know it's records. Ay, 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 ay. You're saying bold. I mean, these are brand names. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God can do the same with you if you are disciplined, if you become a son, if you are consistent. God can make your name great. If you are focused, this year, this year, God will announce you. He said, this is my son. That means they didn't know him. God will introduce you to the world. That means whoever doesn't know, will know, this is my son. In whom I'm well pleased. I love the next part. Hear ye him. Don't worry about his neighbor. Don't worry about his competitors. It's the year where God will endorse you. God is endorsing you. Jesus was endorsed by God. That baptism that happened was Jesus' endorsement. Even John, who had an established ministry, said, I must decrease that he might increase. There are people who are going to decrease in comparison with your increase. There was a man, his name was John. He was, he was a light, but he was not the great light. The greater light in you 
Shedigizinda ma sholegi da bagola ndama kidama kola maya. Your father might have many sons, but the light in you, the light, the light that has been dim all these years, this year will be a point of reference. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where when you want to know when the devil has done something to discourage you, you go back to this message and say, There's a day when God endorsed me. Ah, lama ko, lama. A Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter number four, ah, lama. after Jesus came out of the wilderness, he says, Great fame spread abroad great fame it will come from somewhere you are about to be famous that's why God was saying grow up he doesn't want you doing nonsense when you are now famous because it will become famous nonsense Shanda makola mahaya, haya ya 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 bakata bahaya, kela tika toba, palege de bagola, hayola bigada baga, haya ya ya. God's about to rub any bad name and is about to endorse you. Ah, kata bahaya, ye kabatola bahaya. He's about to remove controversy. God removed the controversy around Jesus. But God, he took ownership of him. He said, this is my son. I know you were told that. Uh, but, uh, but this is my son. This is my son. I know you've heard many, many things. But this is, this is my son. I know he has made mistakes. But this is my son. This is my son. You might not be pleased. But I am well pleased in him. This is my son. There's somebody. Not my child. Uh, here comes that word son again. This is my beloved son. You are becoming a son of God. You are manifesting into sonship. God is endorsing you. God is announcing you. God is raising you. This is my son. Hear ye him. Oh, I tell you, if you're half spiritual, your life will change by this prophecy. Your business will change. Your marriage can change. Your, some of you, your marriages have not been divinely endorsed. You're about to receive the backing. Oh, so many things happened there on that river, Jordan. Ah, he was endorsed. The heavens opened. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit were in one place at one time. Oh, And going forward from there, his fame spread up. Broad. They've not heard of prayer shift. They will hear ye prayer shift. They will hear you KPM. They will hear you Plyport. They will hear you. They will hear you Joshua. They must hear you. They must hear you. There are people who are ignoring you. By virtue of where you came from, because you were in Debele, because you were Shona, but they did not know that you are really a kingdom citizen. I might be Shona, but I'm his son. I might be in Debele, but I'm his son. I might be Kosa, but I'm his son. But I am his son. This is my son, in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. The world is about to hear you. I said, this world is about to hear you. They are about to hear you. Because, oh, I can't get away from that. I will make your name great. Shanda Makola. Do you know, look at me. I used to think that you have to do something great. For your name to be great. But God changed my mind. He said, one miracle. One miracle that you could have done before can give you a name. I said, Lord, you're going to have to give me a scripture. David killed one giant. And, and, and it's not even like killing a giant is harder than killing the lion and the bear. If you put a bear there, you put a giant and you're asked to take an option, which one will you kill? You go for the giant. You do something easily, but it will give you a name. 
It might not even be your best sermon. It might not even... <laughs> Maybe somebody just happens to be, to be coming out of a wheelchair in that direction and that's the time you happen to say in the name. <laughs> so it happened to me. It, I just happened to be on this side of the auditorium and somebody happened to be over there and they... Uh, uh, Rachel, do you remember? <laughs> the, 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 the wheelchair was round about where her chair is there and, 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 and the person happened to just... Is there online? I just... It's not great... <laughs> Neil down road. It's not great things you have to do to become great. It's to be endorsed by a great God. One meeting, you are not even suspecting that anything powerful would come out of this meeting. But a man of Shango Itika on this room, no, you just have a color, see, the Baglenda, men of the Soliki, the Bagada, Paleke, the Bagola. I'm telling you, some of you, my boss is actually for holiday. Usunga Fungi, I got a phone on an assistant worker. They will like the way you do things every day. You, you just think it's just some funny speaking engagement, you know, but there's just something you say by the action of the Spirit that will give you a great name. It might not even be a great If you knew the spiritual transactions that are happening here, you, you would not switch off it might be somebody you are asked to pick at the airport, Mahashi. Your boss might just tell you, go and pick this person. And they might be the person holding the key. The key to your bank. The key to your manufacturing car. The key to your mine. The key to your farm. Listen to me. Your keys are in the hand of somebody. I released that recommendation. You don't understand. Jesus was recommended by John. John was known because it was in the day from the days of John. These were the days of John. So John Nangarpanyanga and John Narpanyanga said, I must decrease. And John Nemukurumbira wa unawo yurkuta usichinu. So now all the attention went to Jesus. For they said, if John is decreasing and this one is increasing. Uh, divine endorsements. Divine endorsements. Divine endorsements. I hear him saying, uh, Divine endorsements. I announce you to the world. I announce you to the world. Your fame, Luke chapter number four, is spreading abroad. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the way Alibaba appears on your phone? You don't go a day without Alibaba appearing on your phone. Whether you like Alibaba or you know Alibaba or you don't know Alibaba, Alibaba is coming on your phone. The way Alibaba appears on phones is the way your name will appear. Shalide da soli kando kalida dabako. They will look for you. If they don't look for you, internet will make them find you. You're looking for a job, and the job is looking for you. And the kings will come to the brightness of your shining. When kings come, it's different from when you go to the kings. When you go to the kings, you have to present something to them. But when they come to you, they have to present why they think it will be a blessing for them to work with you. I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm prophesying into a destiny that kings are coming. In the next seven days, kings are coming. Kings are coming. There's a difference between cooking for povo and cooking for the kings. They will ask you how you cooked your daily sadza. They will look for you.